never do that again. <laughs> Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. I've just ran down Hollywood High Street. Um, well, what are you doing? Just kicking. Why? <laughs> you in that kind of mood? <laughs> it's going to be a fun pod. Three cheeky boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, before we get into this episode, I'm on tour. Um, I'm, I'm going to be in, when this goes out, what? It'll go on Wednesday. I'll have some opera house shows. There might be tickets for the show tonight, but the rest of the run sold out. And then I'm going to be in Canada and America again in December. I'm going to be in Toronto, in no particular order, New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Chicago. Something like that. Tickets on sheandtalkcomedy.com. Link is in the description. If you want to join the Tea With Me Patreon, here's the sort of thing you can get. <laughs> One, two, three. Good afternoon. <laughs> See the West Link. That is the horniest what? thing I've ever heard. Come on. Marvin. Bring down some of those chicken waffles. Mr. Potter. <laughs> I feel gushy. This is unbelievable. This is absolute <laughs> chaos. This episode of Tea With Me podcast is sponsored by NordVPN. William, what the hell is a VPN, man? It's a virtual private network. Yeah, and James, is that a, right or wrong, is that a tool that safeguards your internet connection and enhances your online privacy or something like that? I think you're absolutely right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> NordVPN establishes a secure and encrypted tunnel or pathway for your online data traffic. This isn't like here in Bartlett in the West, I think this is flow, flowing nice. The tunnel is impenetrable, ensuring that no one can snoop on your internet activities. And look, if there's two guys with internet activities that don't want to be snooped on, they're sitting opposite me. <laughs> you can, they, People can't access your personal data. Or I nearly said people can access your personal <laughs> yeah. data, which would be such a bad sell. You don't tell them that bit. <laughs> yeah. um, I use it on tour to keep a safe and secure connection when I'm in a hotel on public Wi-Fi. I do. He does. I do, yeah. just in case people are like, you know, I don't want people knowing in the hotel that I'm watching Barra Best on trains. Sipper, and, and not even the programme, just FaceTime. <laughs> Sippers can get an exclusive NordVPN offer at nordvpn.com slash tea with me with no risk. Don't think it's risky because it's not. They have a 30 day money back guarantee, which is basically a guarantee that if, in 30 days you can get your money back. Elevate your cyber security to the next level by taking advantage of Nord's threat protection feature. Get your shoes from NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash tea with me to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan. And every purchase, James, every purchase to your plan, does that get a three month bonus on top? It does, Shane, yeah. No, it's four. No. Uh, it's four. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> the link is in the description. <laughs> Fuck it. We're also sponsored by none other than Manscaped. Now, I've walked in to see this box here on the table. Dan, are you going to tell me anything about this? No, no, just open People it. love unboxing, don't yeah. they? The unboxing stuff? Yeah. Um, it's a big box of pubes. <laughs> we just use Manch. Who's? <laughs> we just, ours. Manch just. <laughs> what is the it Dutch? <laughs> Manch yeah, we just shipped our pubes. Manch gift. Yeah, love you. William, I imagine your uh, pubic hair to be very fine. Like uh, weird, like, like an Asian fine. woman's fine hair. Yes. Yeah, just yes. long. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I thought you meant fine as in like, oh, he's fine. Like fine, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. We got some fine pubes, baby. <laughs> um, so. By the way, who is this guy? Why are they not using the guy from, from the... He looks like the guy from Aunt, Auntie Donna's House of Fun. Yeah, what, what is, is that Auntie hair? Auntie Donna's House of Fun? It's a it's Auntie's house. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, what the Auntie hell is this I'm looking at? Actually, my pubes are like Benjamin Franklin's hair. Dan, is this what I think no, it is? Top, but then, like, oh, yeah. yeah that is. That's what's cool. This is the lawnmower. <laughs> guys, this is the lawnmower <laughs> 5.0. It's here. Okay. It's here. Does that, do you know what I'm going to say? That, 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 that There's a, I don't know if they're banging the drum about this, but there's a little bit of a design change where that sits very nicely in your palm now. Okay. Um, there's a lock on that. There's a light. I mean, light. that is, Do it that's USB-C. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's great. We've got the weed whacker here, and that. Uh, you see, they've got they've made that more sleek. We've got uh, crop soother, <laughs> ball after shave lotion. What's crop soother? What is a crop soother? Basically, you can put that on your balls after you shave, and it'll soothe them. Oh. Mm. Um, 
Is it? Can it only be used on balls? Pardon? No. Um, <laughs> there's a Sorry, new wash bag. You, I'll be able to take that on my uh, tour. And there's all different kind of... The Lawnmower 5.0 is here, guys. Um, if you want to get any of this stuff, go to manscaped.com. Use the code T with me for 20% off and free shipping. The link for everything is in the description. You strike me as Mama Harry Balls. What? You no, G- I think James, I shave my I think, balls. I think James B. Harry everywhere yeah. borrows balls. I thought, yeah, I, I keep it. I keep a fucking clean shop. Is that what it's called? A neat. I trim my pubes basically. Yeah, it looks your, good. I thought your pubes would look like Tom Hanks and Castaway. That's GM yeah. Right it's the beard gives like. that yeah. impression, yeah. but yeah, it's all good down it's there. Good there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like you're completely bald down there. I'm like yeah. a wee, I'm like a wee like, old rat. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think he keeps a strip. Oh, do you I say? He, yeah. As, yeah, for it's party time. It's actually a W shaved into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a wanker. <laughs> Sorry, man. That was good. for William, right? It's for winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, winner. Oh, yeah. It's a winner's dick. For winky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like that some people in Northern Ireland, some guys are called winky as a nickname for William. Dude. But that means what? dick. Yeah. Is that real? You never met a winky? I've never met a winky. That I, I didn't like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you shaking Sorry. hands with many a winky. Yeah. <laughs> what did you call what did you call your penis when you were younger? Um my wee man. Techie. Yeah. Pardon? Techie? Yeah, my techie. Techie or techie? Techie. T I C K Y. Don't know why it was called that. Your techie? Yeah. That oh. doesn't sound it sounds It's not techie anymore. Alright. Anyway, it so, sounds like you're trying to say dicky. No, yeah. it's techie. I remember it being called techie. Yeah, I remember being like, my techie? I didn't say it like a Belfast Chinese <laughs> yeah. accent. But yeah, I called it that. I used Everyone to say, looks really concerned right now. I used to say my Jimmy. <laughs> Your Jimmy? Yeah. Jimmy, that's. My Jimmy, yeah, that's pretty standard. That's, that's pretty good. Jimmy. The wee man. Everyone, you know, people say wee man. That's I probably what? went from Jimmy to Willie at about eight. Yeah. I think. Yeah. you gotta, you got to keep changing the term you gotta, every yeah, couple you of years. Yeah. yeah, you can't be like. At what age does it just. I can't become, be calling it techie now. No, no, no. At what age does it just become your dick? Your cock. Yeah. No, if, <laughs> if it comes, it's, it's your, Where, okay. When does a techie Okay, let's go through cock? the ages, right? Let's go through the ages. Oh, God. Okay. So I think, uh, I think it's your dick from about <laughs> 10? At, at 10, That's it becomes a dick. If a 10-year-old is well, like, oh, I'm sorry. a dick. You're right. From 10 to 12, it's wab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wab. All yeah. right, yeah. Okay. And, then, and then, okay, yeah, maybe it's not dick for a while. I think then maybe from about twelve to fourteen, it's knob. 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 Yeah. Okay. Knob. Okay. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'd say for when, probably from when you're like going out age, it becomes your dick. Yeah. And then yeah. I think maybe, I think it always stays as your dick. But then there is a phase, yeah, where you're like your cock. Yeah. But it's dying out. I can't see young people nowadays. Cock saying sounds cock. way too aggressive. Yeah. I, I, I've cock. never used the word yeah. cock in a serious fashion. Well, I say it with a silent K. Cock? Yeah, like you can't go to the dog. Should I take my cock out now? You wouldn't say that, like, do you know what I mean? Especially because you're in for, yeah, for an eyesight test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just in the reception. They're yeah. like, please I leave. need glasses. Do you want to see my turkey? <laughs> um, That's, yeah. Yeah, I, and I don't know then when you become an old man, do you soft? Do, does it become. Does I, it? I think there's nothing creepier than calling it your penis. Yeah. There's nothing creepier. Yeah. When you're an old man, surely you need you need something. It needs to be called something softer. Pardon the pun. Ticky. Yeah. Would it would it go back to ticky? Yeah. Or well, some, no, no one says that about you. Yeah, that's just me. What would it, is that? Is, are you what a family old, thing? Yeah. Perhaps is maybe that, it is. Now that passed think, down through your family. Yeah, yeah maybe. McKegney, like they We've got down. techies. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Fuck. Um. Yeah. What would an old man? A Johnson. Yeah, it's gotta be. This is my like Johnson. Robert or, it's gotta yeah. have a name. Like yeah, a first it's not. Name. It's not threatening at all yeah. anymore. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever been in a relationship where you have a nickname for your penis? No, like not. the other person does. No, not yet. I mean, no. <laughs> what William. Was, what was it? <laughs> what was it? Just say. If, I'm, a, if I'm in a relationship, it's it's normally just a random guy's name, just for my dick. They'll just refer to it as like, oh, is George about? <laughs> but is so, 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 so why sometimes is he not about? <laughs> So yeah, sometimes <laughs> sometimes he's busy. Yeah. yeah. William screwing it on like a, <laughs> like a snooker. <laughs> Here comes George. Oh, I've left George at home. <laughs> left George That's in the yeah. park. She'll be on the bed. And I'm in the other room, like putting it together like a sniper rifle. Yeah. <laughs> have you never? Do you not have a pet name for your penis? No. 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 I think it's it's weird. Am I weird doing that? 
Yeah. Is it you calling Frosty it? Frosty has a Nah, answer. Frosty did this look. Frosty did this look where it's like, you want to gauge the reaction in the room before yeah. you say it? Because he was like, oh, ah, well, I, don't, I think you have, a, you have a nickname for it. What's it called? Yeah, just say it, man. I'm Big Mike, it's Wee Mike. <laughs> I've seen it, and it's not Wee Mike. Hey. But the same height as you. <laughs> um, I know a guy from Blaine, and he's called... From where? Blaine, near Garva. I don't know that <laughs> And he's, he's Willie. His dad's got Willie and he's called Willie, so he's called Big Willie's Wee Willie. So I thought that's pretty I know funny. his pain. Oh, okay. yeah. I know his pain. Yeah, yeah. I hated that. What? It's fine oh, when you're... Yeah, I could call Wee Willie because my dad's Big Willie. So you're right. Big Willie's Wee Willie as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you have Wee... You could say, oh, do you want to meet Wee Willie's Wee Willie? Yeah. <laughs> you just, yeah. <laughs> just keeps getting smaller like a Russian doll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun when guys talk about Willie's like this because we're not being toxic about it. We're being like, you know... Yeah. How can you be toxic about your Willie? Oh, my cock so big. I... Oh, my, yeah. I like <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to tea with me. I'm a fucking root. <laughs> Do you ever watch porn? You come with NordVPN, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. But yeah, no, um, because that's why I hate being called Willie. So naturally, every comedian calls me. So Willie. was yeah. your penis's nickname George, or was that? Just... That was just that a random example. It was always just a guy's name. I think it was Richard at one point. Richard. Yeah. Sorry. It sounds. Just, it, it's funny because it sounds like. But Richard, R- Richard would like to make an official Yeah, Richard yeah, sounds like a good name for a penis. No, I think Richard's not going to give you, like, Richard doesn't sound exciting. No, no, you know, sounds oh, like an Richard's going to, wait till Richard gets in you. You want something like, please? Like, <laughs> something like, yeah, wait, that was too shallow specific Wolf to something. not be a thing. <laughs> what? Wait till Shadow Wolf is <laughs> Yeah, Shadow Wolf. Shadow Wolf's class. <laughs> yeah, that's really Dude, good. you can't go home now and be like, we'll call it Shadow Jet Wolf. Stevens. Jet Stevens. <laughs> Jet <Like>, Stevens. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Something like that. If you could, did you ever think when you were younger, if you could pick a name, but for your actual name as a person, what you would be? You know what I mean? I remember being like, oh, I wish I could be called something else. But now I love my name, but there was a time where I did Yeah, yeah, I, I still don't like my I, name. You t- I do like my name, James, yeah. Do you? I th- yeah, well, yeah. If I could have went by <laughs> Liam, I would have. Liam? Because Liam Gallagher. Well, Liam is derived from William. It's the last four William? letters. Will, Will Liam? Yeah. Will Liam. Will right. Liam. That's yeah. correct. All right, Liam. <laughs> um, so it is derived from William, so I wanted to be called Liam, but... Uh, Would you hate to be called Jim? Name? No. Really? That's my... Yeah, that's my dad's name, so I don't really mind. I've been called James, Jimmy, Jim, uh, every... every Jamesy? I was called Jay for a whole year in America. Nah, I know it was very weird. Dude. I don't know. Like I nah, was nah, strange, nah, 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 nah. man. I felt like a different person because everybody just instantly started calling me that. You can't really do anything with my name. You can't make it shorter. Shaney. Like, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Shane Stubber. Shano. Shano. Yeah. Yeah. What did you want to change your name to? Um, Like Steel or something. When I was younger. Steel you Todd. Gladiator, were you? Steel Todd sounds like a name for a cock. Steel t- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Attaching your Steel Todd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, guys, good to... I've been away. It's good to get back in the, the studio, in the routine of things. To, what? <laughs> it's just the way you're like, that's a good name for a cock. It's good to be home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call my dick and balls. Do you know, Jeffrey? Just be grateful for life. Can I say, <laughs> you're both looking really healthy. Oh, really? You, I you feel like shit. No, he, he's <laughs> lost a lot, like, toned up. Yeah, yeah. The other lost day. a lot of weight, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. So for some reason, I, I want you to put it back on. Yeah, I, li- I do you know what I liked? Yeah. I liked being chubber. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Fuck I thought off. it was funner. Yeah. I just, I just add anything. I was like, hey, yeah. I'm fu- uh, I got a wee belly. Do you know what I mean? Willie, you're looking radiant, mate. Thank you. Thank you. You are glowing. Like, your Thank hair you. looks recently washed. I've actually. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. <laughs> Have you washed your hair? <laughs> <laughs> um, how was Ulster Hall, mate? It's fine. It's fine. It was a nice time. It was phenomenal. Were you it, there, Dan? No, but I've just heard reports from everybody. Yeah, everyone said it, it was, was amazing. It was yeah. lovely. Yeah, it was a good time. Smashed it. Killed it. You know what I'm like? I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with self-compliments. Um, what was it like compared to what you thought it was going to be like? It was like I... Th- you know, I've done it with other people about four or five times. So it, the expectation of what's this going to be like isn't really there. So... Right. I think everyone's least favourite solo is in the Ulster Hall. It's still a good thing to do. It's, it's, it's mental that I sold it. But you know what I mean? It's out of the bigger stages. Yes. Every, everyone I know who's done it comes off going, 
Is that all right? Did you have fun, Jibs? I did have fun, yeah. But I did come off saying that. And I was like, oh. but it was it was good crack. Yeah, Luke it McGibbon was. was bouncing off all Oh, time. yeah, Luke was so excited after it. He yeah. buzzed like a like freshly watered poppy. gremlin. He was what, just yeah. fucking what, running around the place. What did you do after it? Did we Yeah, we went to Marcus Bush. Yeah, a few pints. I bounced early. You. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> See the way he says, what's the name of that bar you just went, James? Marcus Ward. Fuck, are you, are you being serious? Are you winding me up? That's what it's no. called. Yeah, the Marcus Ward, yeah. Don't be a dick. <laughs> no, that's, that's what, what it's called, called, is it not? It's called the Marcus Ward. No, it's not a place in a hospital. It's Marcus Ward. <laughs> We've been through this. It's not Marcus Ward. It's not all one word. The Marcus Ward. You fucked me off by agreeing with him and saying it the way he says it. I've Everyone... never, he's told me what it's called. This is what I, I've Marcus learned from Ward. him. Yeah. yeah, the Marcus Ward. Who was the guy who used to do stand-up and used to do the thing about the drink driving thing and he would lay the microphones uh, stand down on its side? Bald. Who's that? What? Sta- uh, did a double header with Mickey in Edinburgh years ago. Jim Owen? Uh, first name Rory. What was he called? Rory Ward? Yeah. Yeah. Ex- so you can say it? Mark's Ward. Rory Ward. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not, it's not, the Rory Ward. It was, it, he's not called Rory Ward. <laughs> he's called Rory Ward. You're saying the same thing to me? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm a- Marcus Ward? I'm Marcus going to the Marcus Ward. Ward. What you're saying is, I'm going to fuck him. That's my hair. <laughs> this is like the. That's what you said. Do you remember the dress that was like gold and white? Yeah, no, because no, no, you can see that two ways. You can only say this one way. Right. The Marcus Ward. What you can't say it. No, I, I thought of that. Hey. Right. It's called the Marcus Ward. 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 Here's what you're saying. Right. The Marcus Ward. They sound the same. Nah, my yeah. fuck you. God. The Marcus Ward. And did the you? Marcus Ward. Did you always get drunk after? I couldn't even tried. I couldn't even get dropped. Couldn't. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean like <laughs> fuck no? Like I, I did give it a go, but yeah. like six drinks in, and you're like, I could drive home, not legally, but I could drive home right yeah, now. Like, yeah, and he did. Yeah, yeah I, did. <laughs> I did. Bus full of people. It was lovely. Um, <laughs> and then you did the boy band thing at Kieran show. Yeah. Were you nervous for that? Not nervous. Nervous isn't the word. Infuriated was the word. So hold on. So <laughs> by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, at the end of Kieran show, did I do? You guys go to Kieran show? Fosty man. Um. So Kieran got in touch with me like a couple of months ago. He's like, mate, I want to do a boy band medley at the end of the show. Would you be up for it? Yeah. And I said, yep, I'm in. Then I realized that's when I'm going to be in America. So I was like, man, I'm not going to be there for it. And he goes, right. But he told me there was going to be multiple rehearsals. Yeah. It's going to be like Pineapple Dance Studio. Like, remember Louis Spence? Yes. Louis Spence, darling. <laughs> right. Um, he told me it was going to be... <laughs> I miss that. See if it was 2009, that, was that would fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Louis Spence, darling. There's, like, there's no work in being Louis Spence impersonator. There's no work in being Louis Spence. Not anymore, no. Um, so, Kieran was like, maybe we're going to be rehearsing flat out. So, then I asked him, like, a couple of days before the show, I was like, how's that all coming? He's like, yeah, we're going to do the rehearsal <laughs> yeah. tomorrow, like the day before the show or something. Yeah. We did two or three, to be fair. Right. By the end of it. Who was leading it? Butler? Butler. Was he infuriating? <laughs> yeah because I love Aaron Butler's really good friend of mine yeah but I can picture his energy as a choreographer and I don't think I'd like it so talk me through where, where did you do it by the way where were you guys some dance studio in Boucher which I was nervous about because I have a parking ticket from there that I haven't paid do you remember because I refused to pay because it's yeah, not a real right. company oh, so yeah, I'm now yeah. you know I'm like if I get clamped yes because I'm coming here to dance mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> You know, Kiri's getting that bill. Yeah. Because I'm not paying the fucking ticket. Yeah. So it was already on edge. Right. And um, here's the thing, right? <laughs> I don't know how to See, in that this. shirt, you look like a weird uh, military dictator. It'd <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be so easily overthrown. If I had your beard, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd look like a wee Castro. Oh, you would, actually. Oh, do you yeah. know who you are? Castro's wee spoiled son who fucks, it, who yeah. fucks the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> But here's the thing. Puba. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I don't want, like, Butler is amazing. Like, he is amazing. Oh, he's dancer gonna, and he's stuff. gonna br- be I'm brutal not, to him here. Oh, this, yeah. this is, I've said this. By the way, me. the bitchiest start to a sentence ever. Butler's a great dancer. He's, he's a great, great dancer. Okay? I, I said, I'll take Nam the way from him. The kid can pirouette. Yeah. But. I'm like your ma after three bottles of wine. He's a great dancer. I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm he's, he's a terrible husband, but yeah. he's a brilliant yeah. dancer. I'm not going. No, I'm not going to bed. I'm not going to bed. My night too. Um, <laughs> am I not oh, allowed? Am I not allowed to drink? Am oh. I not allowed to enjoy myself? <laughs> right. 
for some reason, don't know what it is, <laughs> men dancing pisses me off. Right. <laughs> Not like, you know, on the nightclub throwing shapes. Yeah. So you're sitting there being like, one, two, three, four, and then it's pure red. No, it's just- I'm fucking raging. And I don't know what that is. And but did you not think it would be like this getting into it? I thought it would be, you know, a bit of like silliness, a bit of crack, and it was so. Oh right, so that's so it, it was, was too serious. So serious, and you couldn't shake that rage. Like I imagine oh. Butler doing this quite a bit, guys, guys, yeah. guys, <laughs> you know, on me, on me. Yeah. Do you know what he, he did quite a bit? Like if you did something bad, do you ever have like you know your sister has like a camp mate who won't bitch about you, but you do something, then he'll look at her and be like, yeah, oh, yeah. do the eye roll, yeah, and he yeah. does that, and I'm like. I'm oh, sitting there. I can totally see that. I'm sitting, yeah. you know, fucked up a fucking spin or something, then he'll pull off face, and I'm like, you got a problem, but like, <laughs> yeah. But it, 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 it's a me problem. Oh, uh, yeah. You probably looked really hard in the dance studio. <laughs> you got a problem? What? What are you saying, <laughs> mate? Yes. <laughs> 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 Just Throwing aside. jazz hands. <laughs> right, so. But, by the way, what were, were you were you getting it at the start? Like, would you say. It took, a, it took about an hour before it really started to click. Yeah, but it, it it worked in the end. It was good. I hated it. I hated it so, so hard. You didn't even as you even stepped on, on that stage. You didn't. Yeah, no, that. I did. Like I was. If you could see my face on stage, like actively, you regretted it. That's weird energy I, to I, be doing a boy band medley in bad form. <laughs> yeah, I think it weirdly made it funnier. <laughs> right. Because because I was like, am I supposed to leave you now? So what were you annoyed at? Were you annoyed that there'd People, be too much work put dudes into it? dancing? Pisses me off. That's exactly what you what signed you up for. Up. <laughs> I know. No, this is seeing this boy band medley we did. They were dancing. I'm, this is what I'm telling. I didn't know I had. You didn't I know didn't know was, this annoyed me until I was doing it, oh. and then I'm like, "Fucking, I hate this." Right. Like I'd be watching Billy Elliot going, "Your dad has a point." He's right. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? When he's like, "All I want to do is dance," I'm like, "You're living in Thatcher." Shame him. Yeah. Shame oh, you're him. living in Thatcher, Britain, mate. Yeah. But get down the fucking mines. Your family's in poverty. <laughs> <laughs> Put the lathe hard down, pick up a fucking spanner, fix the drains or something. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? By the way, that's so funny that you didn't know what they would take into a mine. <laughs> like, just you show, you're like Zoolander when he goes in. Like, hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But he should be working. I yeah, really yeah. agree with it, that. Whatever he's doing, just hitting something. <laughs> right, he should be coming home covered in dirt. <laughs> like, I don't, I, and th- like that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's not the shit on Butler or anything because he's a me. It's not it. It's, it's a me thing. It's a me. That's issue. so. Oh, that's so passive aggressive. No, it's not. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, not him. It's you. Yeah, right. I'm fully aware it's me <laughs> because it just pissed me off. And when you were actually do, did anyone fuck anything up? Yeah, me constantly. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I kept getting things wrong and then refusing to fix it. Kieran clicking was so funny because there's no way he, his hands can make a noise when he clicks. They edited I mean, that in yeah, after. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like Charlie's dad and always suddenly just has like big fake hands. <laughs> yeah. Did the crowd really go for it? Yeah, they loved it. Were you there I, too? I think. No, I didn't get to go. Yeah. But it looked Why were you we grounded? <laughs> yeah, no, that sounded like I wasn't allowed to go. Yeah, but no. Did you get good. grounded when you were younger? I was never grounded. I think life. I was grounded what? once and then my ma immediately ended that. Dad grounded me and mum was like, I was never grounded in my life. You yeah. grounded all the fucking time. Did you? Time. I got in trouble. Like, I didn't even do shit. I got in trouble, but you learned your lesson immediately. But yeah, yeah, but they just weren't in the like grounding as a method of. I thought you were like they weren't in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tennis was just a way out. No, I think I think my dad would be like, if I got told off or something, you've been yeah. told off for it, that and he's it. like, why, why make you just sit in the house? I think I was the same. Yeah, you know, I like yeah. With the you grounded flat out. Fucking all the time. Really? <laughs> I used to get in trouble for so much shit. Yeah. And see when you're grounded, they'd be like, you just sat in the room. That was it. For how long? Yeah, sat in the room with all your toys. Yeah, like it's weird. But you weren't allowed to play them and I had to leave the door open. No, like when you have a girlfriend over and you have to leave the door open. My mum, if I was grounded, had to leave the door open to so make sure I wasn't playing with my toys. Right. So you just, how long would you be grounded for? Like a weekend. A weekend? Oh, Jesus that Christ. sucks so bad. It's like, like an hour or something. Nah, man. Nah, a gotta, weekend? A weekend, yeah. dude. And you have to sit in your room and not. Yeah. Play with anything? Yeah, yeah, and wasn't allowed to read books or nothing. Which, as a nerd, that, that yeah. would have that would have been my punishment. Read, no read. Sit in that room and read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I'd have hated that. No, I, 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 I just think I think grounding is like a bit weird. It depends. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I can, I can see your point. But have you ever, you know, met someone who has kids and you're like, discipline them in some way? 
because he's a wee bastard. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever remember at a, like a restaurant, you're sitting at the- dinner and someone's kids up and just running about and over at other oh, people's yeah. tables? And I'm like, so smack your kid. Yeah. Do you know what the kids... Or at least allocate somebody to smack your kid. Give your least. kid an iPad to sit for give two your hours kid, for an inch of the Give room. your kid a fucking uppercut and tell him to mind his manners. My kids aren't into iPads. I think really? My kid, they're aren't into my kids the aren't into uppercuts. uppercuts. They're not a family uppercuts. Really I'm trying and they're just looking at me like, hey, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I box at the altar hall. <laughs> <laughs> they, now they just... Um, we tr- have tra- like for flights and stuff. Yeah, we'd be like, let's get them watching an iPad for them. They, they not interested. They, they couldn't care less. And what they, they might like eventually. What do they want to do on a flight? Just in, like instead. Party. Of pu- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shot. Walk about. Just down or about. Yeah. Okay. They don't get. You're trying to basically explain. You've just sit in this seat. Yeah. For multiple hours, they're like, no, no, I won't walk down there. <laughs> so, so, so sort of. Uh, and would they? Ju- would you let them get up and walk? I will. It's so difficult. Yeah, it, it it really is because you're like, you know, you think a kid, you go, you go like here, sweets, we can watch something. You can do coloring in. Yeah, there's no way Karen on flights. <laughs> there's a big Harry moment. You bring, enjoy just one big Harry <laughs> You bring all this gear. It lasts for six minutes. You're like, you <laughs> get all my fucking life, so you Get all this. <laughs> I know your problem. Sign of a good party. Eh? <laughs> Me and you fly to Scotland tomorrow. I'm like, here, sniff at. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going away tomorrow. We are, yes. I love where going. going. Can I say something? Yeah. We live in an age where, like, like we, like, especially comedians, like, we're good at taking the piss out of each other and ourselves. Yeah. Let me say something really genuine. This man's a pleasure to travel with. Really? We have yep. a nice Good time. travel buddy, yeah. yeah. Great travel buddy. How so? Never complains. Mm-hmm. Even at times when it pisses me off that he doesn't. Like, Willie will, like, fall... He'll, he'll be like sore with his muscles. He'll be like fully like muscles contracting. Yeah. He'll fall uh, going across the road. He'll get <coughs> ran over by a van. And you'll be like, man, are you okay? And instead, like all you want is a tiny bit of him being like, nah, that was sore when that lorry ran over my body. He's <laughs> like, nah, it's all good. Like he you can, do do that, yeah. he's stronger than trucks. Yeah. He can never go, nah, man, I'm struggling. It's because my friend will get grounded if I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's the PTSD, man. Back, lad, but yes. he's, and also, he never turn anything down when you're traveling. You'll oh, really? never be like, I could be like, man, do you want to go down this mine and we could work for a day? And he'd be yeah. like, yeah, man. So he brings enthusiasm to everything Spanish he does. Yeah. If, you, if you go, do you want to go dancing for a day? I might tell you to fuck yourself, but yeah. anything else, a lot of <laughs> Wait fun. Wait till we get over to Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> I booked him a butler for 12 hours. <laughs> I'd kill him. I'd honestly kill him. I'd do the time, Happily. I thought we could go see a football match in Scotland, but it's fucking international break. Ah, that would have been brilliant. Scotland not playing at home. They are, but it's it's the ta- it's an even kickoff. Go into the the spooky dungeon. We've done it. Oh, you've done it. Oh, oh it's good, we, isn't it? We, I, I told this story at a gig in uh, in the comedy store. Yeah, yeah. Because there was a guy in the front row of the show right. who was Scottish, and the support act had been talking to him, uh-huh. and I was like, "Man, I've been to Scotland. Let me tell you about this." Uh, and I opened the gig with it. So me and Willie were. This was what four years ago longer more six years ago right and um we were in edinburgh and we needed something to do like an activity during the day because a lot of comics will like just sleep all day or yeah. just sit and do- i need uh, <laughs> i i need activities That's what i want to do yeah, yeah, yeah for sure yeah do i go do activities i'm like yeah send me the boner yeah i'd love to <laughs> i want to <laughs> annihilate my ticket <laughs> Just gonna take the wee man out for a walk, but it's alright. He can win. <laughs> I'm grounding your dick when we're away. Um, <laughs> Whoa! All right. Wait. Set <laughs> 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 the door open. <laughs> so I was like, we should go and do the haunted dungeon tour. He's like, yes, hundred percent. Um, and I I didn't know what. You know, I was like, this will be really fun. <laughs> and we got an Uber to from the hotel to the dungeons. And I said to him, here, we're looking out for a guy called Majid. You know, it tells you the Uber driver. <laughs> right, yeah. So Majid's coming in like a white Skoda or something. And you know with an Uber, it's like you see on the map where the driver is. Uh-huh, yeah. He's getting really close. So I'm like, brilliant, with the weight right here. And this, like, I'm waiting for Majid, right? So I was like, look out for Majid. Yeah. And this, like, bald, middle-aged white scottish man pulls up in a <laughs> yeah. white scooter puts his window down he's like all right lads and i'm like yeah mate all good all good he's like you're waiting for a lift i was like yes mate but we're, we're waiting for majid and like you know what i mean like 
yeah, we're not. You're, you're not our guy. You're not my like. I said, no, no, we're waiting for someone, and he just looked at us up, looked at us, and went, no lads, I'm Majid. Yeah. <laughs> me and Willie were like, oh. I generally thought it was a UDA you, man on the run. You yeah. just stole Majid's car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're no. So we got in, and we're like, I'm just like, Willie, ask him, find out why he's called Majid. I'm like, get into a conversation and let's find out with this guy who looks like a Barry, yeah, or a Cliff, yeah, or something. Let let's find out why he's called Majid. Let's work this out. Because yeah. he like the guy couldn't have looked more Scottish, <laughs> and I was like, there'll be a cool story behind this. Then before we could get into that, Majid was like, where he's off to? I said, oh, we're going to dungeon tour, and like the scariest guy you've ever met. He just went like, but like the friendliest guy, but really scary. Yeah, he just doesn't look back at us and goes, I'm banned for the dungeon tour. <laughs> I mean, I, went, I said to Willie, I was like, it doesn't matter, he is Majid. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he can be called, but you can be Come called on. whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. Yeah. And we were like, why? What happened, man? And he, you know, like, if you've done this tour, it's all like amateur dramatic actors yeah. pretending yeah. to be old and like to jump out at you, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. To make you jump. Yeah. So, like, I remember. It's people you know, like Butler dressed up in Scarry Cup. Yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the wee dancing boy of Scotland. <laughs> They killed me for dancing. <laughs> Rightfully so. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No. So and it, people pop out at you and all be like, "Oh, I'm I'm we Jimmy and all." And it's like you weren't sketchers, man. So shut up. Um, <laughs> I saw you in Nam. Those twenty minutes. Ago. Um, <laughs> That's not I'm, like, I'm we Jimmy. <laughs> it's like you had two hours to come up with a backstory. You came up with I'm we Jimmy. <laughs> we spooky Jimmy. <laughs> so we said to Majid as we were like pulling up at this place, I was like, "Oh man, it's crazy. Why are you banned from the dungeon tour?" And he was telling us that like he was on a date, like a first date. <laughs> years ago on the dun in the dungeon tour and he's like William Wallace jumped out at me right like at the end of the tour William Wallace pops up and we were like oh crazy did he make you jump he goes I chin the cunt <laughs> <laughs> so he's like fully smacked uh, one of the actors so William Wallace, so, like, William Wallace comes out this fella comes out in full like William Wall like the Scottish paint over his face yeah. Majid has his arm around the woman so fucking smacks him <laughs> and uh, we were like oh that's mental and I think Mayor William joked like ah, I'm sure there was no second date he's like I'm married to her. Like, this woman she saw this and was like, that's William my guy. Wallace. <laughs> Took them like 30 years to bring the English to bring down William Wallace. All you needed was a middle-aged taxi driver with a name that doesn't really fit yeah. um, anything about him. Did you, just didn't, you just didn't get that information out of him? No, no, we got out of the... Uh, you just yeah, laughed yeah, to me. We got out of the Uber prompt. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't even stopped. But what are we, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do? Where are we flying to? <sighs> Edinburgh? Is Edinburgh first or Glasgow? It's Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh Saturday, Glasgow Sunday. So we've more time it's there, by the way. in yeah. Glasgow. <laughs> yes. Yes. We need a day activity. We do. I don't know if you'd enjoy it. I'd love a wee VR experience. But they, that's they're, not they're, they're quite fun though. They, they can be good. You see, he wouldn't like You don't it. like that? I prefer... Reality. RL. Real life. Real life. Bro. Real life. I don't know. Well, like when we went to that castle in Wales and then found out it was like eight pound <laughs> in and went, fuck <laughs> this. But like, yeah, I don't... I like the virtual reality thing. It's like let's go outside and do something. What yeah, can you we, can what kill can we zombies do in virtual reality, the virtual reality yeah. bro? You, you can you... shoot arrows at orcs. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, like coming at you in waves and you're just. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Ah, let's do it. Yeah, it's good. It's, like, I mean, it's so fun. You can't do that in real life. What else can That's you do? Can you like people. drive in it and stuff? Uh, some certain ones you can. Yeah, it's it's just games. So when you like video games, but you're in them, and you compl it completely feels like you're. Have you not played the one down at York yet? There's one in York yet? Yeah, dude. No. The whole oh. virtual reality thing. Why am I going to the cinema? Go to yeah, that. Yeah, years that ago, Years ago, I was doing The Empire, and uh, Matthew Collins was there. Do you know Matthew? No. Did stand, up, did stand up years ago. Don't think I ever met him. Did stand up years ago. Comes to The Empire a lot. Just Rip. a big comedy fan. Um, and he was hanging out, and he brought this like VR headset, and this is before <laughs> I... Brought is, VR headset like comedy? Brought a well, VR headset. Nice. Backstage. <laughs> and this is like... Year, this is like 10 years ago okay yeah. so I'd never seen one and he, he showed us this thing I think he was maybe developing this right and you were standing on top of a skyscraper and there was like a walkway and he's oh, like yeah. walk off the end of it and everyone put it on and they were like no nah, no nah. <laughs> comedians were like I can't and they were like they couldn't move their legs they yeah. were like I understand I'm just standing in a corridor in the Empire. But you're feeling the real But I think I'm going to die if I walk off yeah. the end of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put it on just standard. <laughs> I was like, 
I'm in the apartment. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to die. It'd be so sad if I did die. Yeah, yeah. take it off your... Uh, you your just strength. collapse to the floor. I, 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 I walk down a staircase by mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, what? This is so real. <laughs> it really hurts. I'm paralyzed, man. This is so freaky. <laughs> James, can you reach my water? Yeah. What, um, what can we do? James, what are you doing this weekend? Fuck all. Do you want to come with us? Do you want to come with us for a crack? Ooh, maybe, yeah. Oh, we'll Sorry, that's a like oh. a jizz there. Oh. Oh. That could be interesting. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when are you just going? Like, literally tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. Oh, yeah. P- perhaps, lad. That could be so interesting. Like. Sorry, it comes oh. out every time I hear it. Do you yeah. want to come? What's, what time is going? Uh, we're on different flights. I'm on, like, at 2 p.m. I'm on 2.45. Oh, then we're on the same flight. Yep. Sick, man, Again, yeah. he has broke to all of this. Do you want to go? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. It's fun That'd time. Fun. Come on. Yeah. We'll do VR and all that. Let's do it, lads. Would you want to go to Wings in Edinburgh or can you eat there? My trip. Wings? By the way, by the way, the way you said my treat, yeah. even the thing we did with your tongue wasn't as creepy as the way you went, my treat. <laughs> <laughs> God, what poor girls have heard that. <laughs> My oh, no. Not many. I'm not like, do you want to come get chicken wings? You want me to, you want me to, go, you want me to go down on you? My tray. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to wipe that off the wall? My tray. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not what you think it is. It's what shit. did you offer him before that? It was chicken wings. Chicken wings. I missed yeah. that bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we could go there. Yeah, because I don't know if you can eat there or yeah, not. Yeah, I can. It's this restaurant in Edinburgh. I'm doing yeah. a Karen thing of a plug here. The, the only thing on the menu is chicken wings. Okay. The menu is sauce. The sauce that it's cooked in. And there's about 50 sauces. Okay, okay so it's just check which sauce do you want with these wings, basically. Yeah. Let me tell you guys something right now. All right. Austin, Texas. A couple of days uh, ago. Yeah, I was fucking there. Let's talk food first. Yeah. Went to a place as soon as we arrived called Terry Black's. Right. Which is like what I would say the tour. Oh, please make more noise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's the it's like the touristy barbecue place. Yeah. So it's like I, I guarantee it's been featured on Man vs. Food. There's a line out the door. There's outdoor seating. It looks small. You go into it, it's like a big massive hall, and you're like they literally you don't stop moving when you walk in. They're firing out. So the first station you get two sides. Yeah. So no real no chips like anywhere in Austin really that we went. They're fries not in, a fries. No, they're more into like beans. sweet corn. Beans, corn, coleslaw, bread, right, okay. all that kind of stuff. So you get your sides. I got pickled onions, um, jalapenos, no, pickles, yeah, and something else. And then you <laughs> go to the meat station. Let me tell you something right now. The meat station. Yeah. Sounds like, yeah. yeah. Sounds like what? Cool place. Sounds like you, <laughs> sounds like you go with corn and carbon outside of Sandra. <laughs> yeah. Go to the meat station. Really You've sad. got no, no, sorry. brisket, uh, beef ribs, pork ribs, turkey, something else. Um, and this stuff, like, they just have big blocks of it. Yeah. And machetes. They just... And, and like, well, how many people is it for? You tell them, cut it up, whack it all on a scale for you. And we got... Um, br- we, split, we split brisket and ribs. Take it outside, sat out in the Glorious. sunshine. Edit. You and Nile. Oh, the yeah. food! I thought yeah. you had the food, and then just scrapped outside for a reason. <laughs> yeah, stuck it outside. Shit, and I'm your fucking jaw off. But they have like a few different barbecue sauces. It was incredible. But yeah. see the last then at the comedy club on the last night. Yeah. Um, one of the comedians was chatting. Oh, where have you eaten when you were here? And I told him that place, and he's like, I shouldn't be telling you this, but there's a place we don't tell the tourists about. And he's whispering, no, come here. It's called, I can't say I'll tell you after, right? I wouldn't be allowed to say it. <laughs> but we went on our last day. And this place yeah. is a little bit out of the city. Next level. On, um, But it wasn't like, it didn't look, if you saw my feed the first time, you'd go, and then you saw the second time, there was less on the second plate. But the taste factor. <sighs> See this brisket, lads? I can still, like, now I'm thinking about it, my mouth watering, like, inside. Yeah, like, just, we said, I'm Oh, it was 
just unreal. This brisket. Anytime I see people upload pictures of food they get in Austin, it looks insane. It's unbelievable. I get heartburn looking at it. Yeah. Like, it, it, it looks intense. But it was all... The, it, anywhere it went was real barbecue or Mexican. Right, okay. That's what it was. But the food there is just... Oh, phenomenal. Unreal. Yeah, then also, they come here and they're like, what? The glass actual bottles fuck? of Coke. Oh, nice and... Yeah, and I had Mexican uh, Coca-Cola in San Diego. What's, What's the difference? What's, it is nicer. Really? It, I don't know whether it's a mind thing. Has anyone had Mexican Coke? It's like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's like different <laughs> sugar. They use like raw cane sugar or something. Oh, is Can that when they literally like make it right in front of you? They put the, the syrupy shit and then they... No, it's different. That's no, not it's it. different. No. But it, it, it tastes like slightly less fizzy and a lot more smooth. But I don't know whether it's just because it's in your head and it's a freezing cold glass bottle. Anything, any fizzy drink is way nicer out of a glass, though. Yeah. Oh, Far nicer. Freezing, especially when it's hot outside as well. Well, I was going to say we could have Iron Brew in Scotland, but they've changed it. There's the glass, you can get the OG shit in the glass But bottle. it's called something different, isn't it? It's called like 1887 or something. Yeah. Because you're not allowed to call it Iron Brew. Yeah. But it's, it's the ni- the new one's rotten. Is it not? Ones. Yeah, I like the, so good. I wasn't a massive fan of Iron Brew when I tried Oh, it. it's incredible. Oh, it's yeah. Oh, so you're out of a can? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. one of the nicest. Really? Like, oh, it's so the new flavor shite. Right. But the OG recipe's fucking. That's good. the one you want. You also did. I'm so jealous of this. Did the mothership? Yeah, you did the mothership, lad. How was that? I'd love to go. Let's just fuck. Gigs a gig, boys. You know what I mean? Huh. Yeah. Gigs a gig. Um, the most like surreal, wild, th- like walking up to it when I could start to see the sign of the club. Yeah. Like. My legs are like shaking a bit. Really? Because here's the way it came about. We had an extra sort of day in Austin, more than we thought. Because, mm. see, because of the time zones and looking at the flights, I was like, oh, we actually have a night longer. And it was already booked and stuff. But I was like, oh, right. Because I thought we had to go to the airport. But we didn't. We had almost like an extra day. And I had nothing booked. And I was like, oh, I want to do the clubs because there's so many clubs there. But the way Austin is, you kind of like, you got. South Congress, which is like uh, no real franchises in it or anything. It's like a big long strip and it's got like shops for like cowboy boots, the hats. It's all very like old school. Yep. Even the coffee shops are like, it's all very, like it's very like graffiti and stuff, but it's real cool. Yeah. And then downtown's more like the city. Okay. And they have this like half mile area with all the, all the like the, the Vulcan gas company, uh, the mothership. Creek in the Cave, um, two or three others, can't remember the name, but like, it's just this just a comedy hub. These, yeah. yeah. So, I, I on, on the morning of our like last full day, I, I just did some Googling to see like, who are people that book this, or like, who could I get in touch with, the, the mothership. Yeah. Um, and I found a name, sent a DM, uh, just like, complete long shot of like, um, I, I'm a comedian visiting from Ireland. I'd love to come and do like any sort of spot. But all we wanted to do was go to watch even. Yeah. But it sells out. Any show there just sells out. And you've yeah. got to like, the tickets get released at noon or something. you got to get them straight away. I just wanted to be in the building. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the only way I can describe it is, you know, like back in the day when you're texting a girl and you get a reply yeah. and you don't even want to like open it at first. You're just <laughs> yeah, like... just want to live in that moment. E- exactly. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't open the message um, and it and was like... It was just like, Joe Rogan's going to kick your account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you For ever no message way. me yeah, again. Yeah, don't you fucking speak to me. So, so it was like... <laughs> yes, it was like two... You did that thing where you don't ask, you just go... Yeah, oh. that was really <laughs> weird the way you did that. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. My treat. Yeah, my yeah, treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hit on my vape? It's natural. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. So, Sorry, yes. So the message was basically like, yeah, sounds good. Would you like to do... Sorry, it was the night of my tour show, so it was the night before. Um, It was like, do you want to do tonight and then two spots tomorrow? And, oh, good and message. So my tour show started at like eight and I was being offered at half nine, but it was totally across the city. So I actually had to say for the first one, I was like, I have to just say no to that one and take the two tomorrow because if I had rushed to get there, 
And or like, or being late or something. Yeah, that would have been so bad, yeah. So I had to basically be like, I'd love to do tomorrow. Um, but I get there and I realised it was a, I only knew like an hour before. It wasn't straight stand-up. It was gay, it was gay stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to perform gay. As a gay yeah. man. Uh, yeah, yeah, as a gay man. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it was, it's called Bottom of the Barrel. So <laughs> the gay show. Yeah. That was yeah, the, the night was called yeah. that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's a barrel on stage, you have five minutes, you pick the audience and some people from the club have put in suggestions oh, Jesus, for topics. Right, yeah. You can only do material about what you pull out. So like you c- it's not like riff like you know I love I love to like have fun with the audience. Yeah. yeah. But it's not even that because no. you can make that kind of go whatever way you want. Yeah. So you have to come up with actual material your stuff has audience. to be about what you pull yeah, out okay and and like i would love to do that what did if, you pull out the first in the early show the first thing i pulled out was uh <laughs> was accidental yeah. incest okay um so what i did wrong in the first show was i was trying to work out ways to tie material i already had yeah. into this subject and i'm trying to waffle this like link to get did something you talk in. about your dad's dick uh no i i talked about an old i was trying to come up with like to get there somehow yeah um but there was some i didn't understand so i like played on that a bit i was like we don't have that here and one of the things was like something about racism and i was like oh, we don't have that back home so i and i was like Sorry, we don't have that back home um and then there was like there was i know i know but that's made a joke about that and there was like an Ital- one was italian moms and I was like, who wrote this? And then this like middle-aged lady in an American accent was like, that's me. And I said, are you Italian? She went, half American, half half, half Italian, half Irish. And I was like, that's crazy that you have neither accent. And we started, <laughs> so I was able to do a little bit about accents. Yeah. The first five minutes, the early show, I, I was fine at best. I was very unremarkable. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like, but see the, some of these acts that are going up, they pull out a subject and they're acting like they've been doing this material for years. They're that good at it that what they're just riffing about with this subject sounds like a bit they've yeah. been doing. They've, yeah, they've crafted. It, it's just yeah, it's not like they just are riffing, and it's incredible. Like it took me to see it once to go literally just riff on it. Don't yeah. try and come up with a bit you yeah. already have. And then when I, so in between, I went to do Creek and Cave. I did like five minutes there, and then at a club, and then I went back to do the late show. And uh, every comic that I met was 10 out of 10 sound. Yeah. yeah. The biggest names that were just doing drop-ins that night were coming up, introducing themselves. Dr- drop some names for us. Yeah, who was the coolest? One. one of the coolest things, like the coolest moments of it was, so we've had Shane Gillis on this podcast, but on Zoom in, in COVID time, oh, yeah. where, you could, just get, that, where right. you could just get people that you could I, normally McCall get. I was interviewing Rob Van Dam. Yeah. COVID, <laughs> yeah. So. It was a weird time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave had Chico. You know what I mean? Like it was weird. <laughs> no. Oh, that would be brilliant. I totally thought he did. Yeah, I would believe it. I'm like, yeah. you can only get unrealistic people during COVID. Like, <laughs> it's the only way I'm getting Chico. <laughs> um, so there was this, but we never actually met like in person. And um, there was just a very cool moment where they hadn't opened the doors to the main venue yet. And we were chatting backstage. And we, I introduced myself, we're chatting, and he was like, have you been in this club before? I was like, no, this is unreal. And he brought me and Nylon to kind of see the whole club. Just like oh, walked us in, sick. showing us around. He's like, if you want to watch a show, you could sit there. And it was just like, absolutely didn't have to do nice that. Nice of him to do But it, 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 like, yeah. it meant so much to me. And the guy, Matt McCusker, he, who he does Shane and Matt's Secret Podcast with, yes. Yes. Uh, just like the nicest there's no clicks in the scene there it felt like anyway yeah. like everyone that was on no matter if they were really well known or not known at all just took the time to come over say hello because yeah. they obviously didn't rec- know us yeah. so it was like how are you and all the kind of kill tony regulars um joe rogan was there but i didn't um i didn't feel it was a natural moment to like introduce myself yeah, just left it yeah i was just i was just happy to be there yeah um but it was just th- then the late show because i done it earlier i was like i know how i'd play that different and i had so much fun yeah. at the late yeah. show if that like the first subject i i the first subject i brought out were was uh it just said on the thing uh our circumcision's gay <laughs> so i immediately i'm able to 
riff naturally on that and then bring in a little bit of the material I have about being circumcised, but it wasn't crowbarred in it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it, it, was, it, it was natural. It worked, yeah. And then I felt confident because I was getting the good laughs. And then, so whatever I brought out, I felt, I was like, I can do something with this. Yeah. yeah. And it was just, it was so good. I'd love to do a show like that. Yeah, that's not amazing, even necessarily man. there. Just that we could do something spot. like that. I think it would be fun. I think that would be fun. I think a lot of people would want to do that too. And but then at the end of the night, because it had been like a dream that at the end of the night, um, some of those bigger acts were like, "Oh, you know, do you guys want to have a beer or come in?" And have it. it had been. I don't know if this will make sense. It had been so good the night that I I just wanted to go. Yeah, makes you no wanted sense. to leave on the the high note. Leave all. That's always the way I feel about yeah. like nights out or parties or anything. I was like, I don't want this. Couldn't be. I couldn't be having any better of a time. Plus, yeah. I obviously don't really like drink. I don't really drink very yep. often. Yeah. But I was just like, I'd rather just go out now. Yeah. They've I'm seen not. the best no, of that you. Makes no sense to me. We would have. <laughs> but, but, we would have absolutely got hammered beyond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, just in Joe Rogan's ear. Like, <laughs> yeah. Why'd you bully Carlos Mencia? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's the best. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I Joe, like your podcast, Joe. but don't like your stand up, to be honest. Joe, shh, shh, shh. Mom, <laughs> Mom, me and you scrap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Does that, but although that's. I do a podcast, oh, Jimmy, pull that up. Uh, <laughs> 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 Although that's not what you was, you would have done. Yeah. Do you not understand? I actually totally why? understand what you were doing. Yeah, I do that night out. I don't see don't, when a yeah. night out feels like it's cooking. I'm away. I mm. hate being there for the bit where it's like, <sighs> no, like uh, you're right. I for I just like why would you leave when it's great? Because, because then do you great. not feel fuck? What am I missing? No, no, I don't get that. No, I I I get what you're saying. Do you know what? Yeah. Also, why I want although to I leave? definitely would have had at least a couple of beers, but I get what you're saying. I'll tell you another nerdy reason why. I didn't know if the they had like a merch store as you walk in and out. Yeah. And I wanted to get some stuff and I didn't want that to be closed. <laughs> so I got a mug and a t shirt. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you want I don't care anymore. Some of the biggest comics <laughs> in the world. No, I don't there know if you're still selling <laughs> <laughs> You lost You're me. You talking to Joe Rogan, be like, do you want to come on the podcast? And like, I just want to wake up. Do you sell t-shirts? Really? <laughs> I, I, I text my dad. I text very few people to tell them I was doing it. Yeah. Um, Like on the day. And I text my dad about it. And then the next also, day. Also, worst guy to text about oh, it. The next day he's t- asking me about it. And I, and I was like, oh, I did, I did I did two shows. And it was I went, could not have a better time. Surreal moment and all this. And he's like, when's it out? And I went, when, what do you, no, it doesn't get, real. <laughs> my dad thought I was going on Joe Rogan's podcast twice, <laughs> twice in one day. I'm like, I did two shows. My dad was like, brilliant, were they both good? He thought I was just showing up on JRE, like, to do back-to-back episodes. Like, not just be on an episode, back-to-back. Thing, yeah. you know? I was like, you've totally misunderstood. <laughs> but it was, um, it just, do you know what the bit, and I don't want to go too, like, in, into the reads of it, in case people just, you know, like we talk, we want to talk about stand up all the time. Yeah. See, because that club has been built, purpose built as a club by him. Yeah. Yeah. Every aspect of it is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. perfect yeah. It like, it sounds silly, the like material of the walls, it's just like almost like this velvet type material, the way they've got the roof really low and all the in, yeah, in that room. Yeah. 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 Just the, every seat is like a good view. I hear there's even like a. There's the backstage, and then before you go on, there's a wee separate bit you can sit alone, like right before you go on. That's it's, yeah. cool. It's built for That's the, cool. Yeah. Is yeah. there like food halls and stuff in it? No. No, I thought there was. There's a there's a there's like a balcony for the acts that you can't really see. Oh, sick! So you know, like sometimes you want to watch a show, you're like, I don't really want to sit yeah, in the room with everyone. Like the Phantom of the Opera while you're doing it. Yeah. But it was. Uh, that was brilliant. That's yeah, classic. man, that sounds brilliant. When do you um when do you start your tour? Um, next w- I'm still like it's very stop and start. So I'm in Liverpool next week. Please come. Tickets are slow. Please come to that. Glasgow and Edinburgh on the eleventh and twelfth, I think, and they're selling quite well. Newcastle selling That's... all right too. It's on the ninth. Are you gonna stay in that hotel we stayed in again? I might. James, was... we stayed in. Oh, the nicest hotel. hotel. No, oh, yeah. For our Rashes. Fuck for off. Our Rashes, man. In the room? Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Before I even have my bag now. <laughs> <laughs> like, still carrying. Oh, <laughs> Dax and Shane, you ain't yours. Oh, can I say, we were supposed to, like, 
leave to go out at a certain time or we're going to do something. And I <laughs> this is terrible. I like wrapped his door because it was like the time we're supposed to go out, but he obviously lost track of time because this room was like you'd have got lost in the <laughs> hotel room, right? Yeah. And I wrapped his door thinking he was just waiting to go, but he was in the bath. <laughs> See if you calling. listen to Willie like all panicked get out of a bath <laughs> yeah man it's like <laughs> so just a raccoon it was one of the funniest water. things I've ever heard seen a seal trying to escape a bath it sounds like <laughs> it's like you just hear splashing you going you alright mate and then I come out with a towel and be like I'm not like right. you just hear like all this like it sounded like you you're being attacked and <laughs> it was like when Leonardo DiCaprio fights that bear in the Revenant right <laughs> yeah. it was like it was just splashing around <laughs> all sorts of business and so it, it's because i was reading no country for old men as well i was getting to the point sugar's looking for him in the hotel room and then <laughs> and i just heard it out right. i was like fuck he's got me. yeah yeah but just yeah it was funny to just hear you <laughs> yeah. rush out of a bath <laughs> came out with a wee towel right around him up, uh, up to here yeah, yeah, the yeah. and everything oh that's <laughs> yeah. disrespectful um james what gigs have you done recently where have you been uh, we did, did the Ulster with willie did uh grand opera house for you a lot of big gigs, having a fucking good time. And we're going to do more this week. Oh, fuck yeah. Is that this week? Mm-hmm. Yes, dude. Nice. Mm-hmm. Very good. All over that. Where is it yeah. you're doing in Edinburgh and Glasgow? We're doing Queen's Hall in Edinburgh and the Glee in Glasgow. Oh, how big is Queen's Hall? Something like 880. Oh. Now, I should have nice. done... Now, uh, some, oh. on some of this tour, I've really fucked up either booking too big of a venue or too small of a venue. Um, And Glasgow is one where I booked way too small of a venue. I was gonna say, same when you told me where you were doing, I was like, you don't know till you do it. What's the? There's some place in America where I booked way too big. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Way too big. <laughs> in a yeah. twenty seater, being like way over the shot. Way way too big. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, kind of like as well, like say the comedy store in LA sold out. Yeah. It was a Friday night in the comedy store. Most of the people there were just wanted to go to the comedy store. If you get me. Yes. Yeah. So, but I did uh, in San Diego. The room holds like seventy. Mm-hmm. And I got twenty four in. One of the one of the most fun shows I've ever done in my life. They did they all sit together or was it like the the way they like run the shows? The staff and all just know what they're doing. They get them up there. They got everyone close together. I got to like know the crowd and then go into the material, and it was just brilliant, so brilliant. Um, what do you guys think happens after you die? It's a good question. That was deep. Good question. I believe. And reincarnation. Yeah, do you know what? I think I believe that too. With no evidence, and I don't want to be convinced of it. It's acid, a nice thought. Acid told me that. When I did acid, that's what Oh, I, I thought you it. had a mate. My mate, yeah. Acid. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call my cock. <laughs> that's what I would want to call myself when I was younger. Yes, acid. 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 Yeah. Uh, when did you do acid? First year of university. In the Holy Land, so not the Terrible not, place not the, the best environment. It's like ayahuasca in Joshua Tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Acid in the acid Holy Lands. Holy Lands, pretty yeah. much the same thing. Um, what, what what was that like as an experience? It was it was fantastic. Like it was good. Yeah, but I, I, that's what it told me the reincarnation thing, right? So I was tripping balls. I could see Earth, and I was floating above Earth, and I was like, "Can you sorry? Can you remember what that like felt like?" Yeah, you feel totally sober, but you're tripping balls, and I felt like, "Oh, we plan to go to Earth." And uh, we die, and then we we jump back. How long did it last? The whole experience, like twelve hours. Yeah, it's long. You, <laughs> yeah, dude, you you'd would have, have the worst ter- time. You'd be the worst guy to give acid to. Yeah. you need to be able to tell I, your I, mind. By the way, is there gluten in acid? <laughs> you need to be able to tell your mind what. This sounds like the most tripped out thing ever. You'll know what I mean. You need to be able to tell your brain, this isn't real, and I'm yeah, just seeing this. Yeah, you have this. to be comfortable with that. You like. have to be able to go. This is just what my mind has to go through to experience this. Because if you start freaking out, you can't get out of it. You're just gonna and have then you're a terrible in a 12 time. Twelve-hour psycho fucking meltdown. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. No, no. <laughs> you didn't like the description. That didn't no. sound good. You, you, the worst salesman ever. <laughs> yeah. you, you don't do shots. I'm not giving you acid. Yeah, that's true. You know, you've turned on a baby Guinness. That's true. <laughs> um, you won't get tipsy. I'm not gonna take you to the inner regions of your soul. But, but how did you know my our soul? How did you know? <laughs> how did you know about the reincarnation thing? As in. It was kind of just, it started like it was like a thought in your head, do you know what I mean? So that's what it kind of feels like. It's just like, yeah. it comes into your head as if you knew it. Yes. And you're like, it's a thought that ah. pops in your head, but it feels like you've known it the whole time. It's very weird, lad. I didn't watch a load of X Factor auditions. Uh, we did that once yeah. too, yeah. There's a video online, it's like X Factor auditions, if you're tripping, and the, just the effects are really wavy. 
but it's just those two guys being like, "Come on, move your body." Uh, and you're just but like their heads are floating. I was the, the other guy in that. <laughs> yeah. You know, like the 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 chorus singer. Yeah, that was him. That was me and Butler on stage. <laughs> He's being like, "Astro up and stare at you," and I'm like, "Yeah, come on." <laughs> um, I I like the reincarnation thing. I struggle to think there, to believe there's, it, it's any. Um, yeah, I'd be think? more like, yeah, but not even in a, uh, what you say, like a negative or a more. I'm just, I'm okay with it. Kind of like before you were born. Yeah, it's just like that. Yeah, you don't, you're not aware. But that scares me. But you'll not be aware to even though that's no, happening. But that's why it scares me, because I'm like I was not aware of my consciousness, but I'm now aware of it. What will happen when I'm not aware of my consciousness again? But you won't, but be, you won't aware be aware of, of being aware. I, I you know, know I mean? but then I think forever, and forever is incomprehensible. And that's what freaks me out. But also, uh, sometimes I want to die after just like a big meal and then go to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's how I want to go. <laughs> just Did that. you ever eat too much and go, I need to lie down? Imagine you do that. You're Sorry, never I thought you the most I, comfortable th sleep. I didn't know you meant that's the way you wanted that. I thought you meant sometimes <laughs> after meant you have a big feed in the Sunday, sure, you're like, actually. fuck, I'd love to be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought that's what you meant as well. Yeah. <laughs> To send you over the edge. Hey, Sometimes I do. Loosen your belt. Yeah. You know, that would be better. <laughs> Sometimes I do when I've got like three cheeseburgers from McDonald's in a row and, I was like, and I've eaten them in the car. Oh, yeah, that's and a I'm bad like, oh, moment. Kill me. Yeah. By the way, my car is two minutes away from my house, or McDonald's is two minutes away from my house. <laughs> you still drive. And I've eaten the full McDonald's and nothing. I, um, reincarnation seems really cool because I love the idea of like a circle of life anyway. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So I love the reincarnation thing, but you'd be so mugged if you came back as like, a fucking dung beetle. A worm. beaver. Or a, yeah. Not beaver, be cool. You look like a wee beaver. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Robert. Uh, you could, like, do you remember the Angry Beavers, that cartoon show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could play, yeah, like That's a live you. action. Angry yeah. beaver. Fuck the off. brown-haired ones, yeah. I have nice teeth. How do I look like a beaver? Do you know what I like to come back as a wild horse? I can imagine you as a really, like, well-kept horse, but still in the wild somehow. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, you wouldn't be able to be a wild horse. You wouldn't be. You'd be a wee like dressage pony. Yeah, you'd be like stepping on stuff. And like, <laughs> and like, people, like kids are like, come see the pony, and you're like, <laughs> like yeah. you, you don't even interact. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's treat. what you would be. <laughs> yeah. that be. What would you be? What would I? What, what animal do I? Are we Tasmanian devil? Oh fuck yeah! Okay, yeah. Like that. something that dwells in trees. <laughs> what a <laughs> bird! Dwells in trees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn lad, we koala. You Yo, do you know what I like being a week? I, I like can see you being a little koala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I was cut down your trees. You're like fucking yes, yeah, I was, I was freaked out by a koala in Australia. I was the big man wanting to meet one, and then when I met it, I couldn't touch it because they were trying to get me to touch his bum. <laughs> they were trying to get you to touch <laughs> the koala was? Suits. <laughs> when they're they <laughs> just get yeah. while we touch it. Bit lower, mate. <laughs> you could, yeah. Koala was throwing Stick around back. Around the bum out. <laughs> Making a clap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Qualls were full of chlamydia too, and he was like, "Don't be gay, mate." <laughs> yeah. no, um, yeah. He said, uh, "Let's try." <laughs> yeah. The the man that worked there was like, "You can like put a wee hand on his back for a photo." In some states in Australia, you're allowed to like fully hold one, but uh, like if we made, we were. Would be so me if I worked in a like a zoo, I'd be like, "Touch it, sir." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that wee furry arse, sir. Like, you do them and like, when someone does it, I'm like, "Fucking weirdo!" He touches ours. <laughs> but I, I, I got scared <laughs> touching. I wouldn't touch it. Like. No, in case you got chlamydia from it. Don't if you look it. at me in the photo, I don't know how many angles we had of it. But I, I pretended to like put my hand on its back, but I didn't touch yeah, it. Yeah, you're like Keanu Reeves and all the pictures. Like, do you ever see him? Knows? Yeah, like anytime he's a picture with we a hover woman, hand? he hovers. Oh, boys, I watched John Wick for the first time on the plane yesterday. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, let's talk. Uh, have you? Have we invited Kieran for lunch? I don't think. Don't get can make it. He had a late night. He says. All oh, right, but we're. We're gonna, we're gonna go. Okay, but I'll say this. I watched John Wick yesterday on the plane. Phenomenal. It was great. Yeah, man, they're amazing. I need to watch them. They're so good. Oh, they're so that, fun. See the wee dog? I know, sad shit. Made me so sad. Would you touch it's ours? No. The wee dog? Finger in the bumble? No. No? No. <laughs> um, I think that's why John Wick came out. Did you finger my dog? <laughs> 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 Will he plug your tour? Um, we're in Liverpool on the 24th, we're in Edinburgh, Glasgow and Newcastle on the weekend of the 9th to 12th of December. Come to those. Glasgow about half sold out, Edinburgh's pretty close behind it. We'll give uh, it a good push this weekend. Yes, that's what I'm planning to do. James? Yep. Terrence Laos, Marfelt, book tickets November 30th, Hellenner Paul Curry. Yes, that's ah, it. That's, right. that's going to be great. That will, yeah, it'll be fun. Thank you very much everybody. Dan, are we anything? Stars and Rise is sold out. Yeah, sold out. Oh, is it? Yep. I'm glad with what I'm going to be now. I'm, I'm happy with it. 
Give us a clue. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. I feel everyone's taking it way too seriously. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, they're all taking it way too seriously. Uh, um. and, but, no, but people are talking to me. I'm like, I might just do a ballad just to, you know, win the crowd over. I'm like, fuck up. Yeah. Not, unless you're Kieran or Keezy. That's not how you can't do it. <laughs> not at all, no. I'm going to be in the wings. I'm going to kick his cunt. <laughs> Uh, thank you, <laughs> like Zidane. Thank you to everybody for Sedan's uh, Cathedral. Thank you to everybody for watching and listening. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs> Safe travels. Mm-hmm.